Hello. So I just attempted to do this video and it didn't really work out for me. <laughs> just so you know, I know I'm gonna get questions about it. I did make it through the hurricane. There's no damage to my property. We're just a-okay. Danny's family is a-okay. They don't have power, but other than that, they're doing fine. So I've had a pretty long night. It's, uh, I'm filming this on Danny's birthday. Not sure if I'm gonna get it up tonight or if I'm gonna wait till tomorrow, but either way, 29th, Danny's birthday. I was celebrating tonight, so I'm kind of tired and my makeup is kind of blah and I'm just blah. So the first thing I am mentioning, which should come as no surprise to anybody, and that is the UD15 Annie palette. Ugh, I hope you're not gonna see my yuckies back there. I don't really use this middle row all that much, and I'll tell you why. I'm a little afraid of using colors at the moment with my eyes because I can't really tell. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've, I've been trying to incorporate them, but it's just, I'm still kind of on the fence about it. I've mostly been using um, Midnight 15 Vanilla, which is actually like my favorite at the moment, Chase, and deeper. So those four I have been really, really into lately. Uh, what am I gonna do with my hand now? Wipe them on the blanket. Wipe them on the blanket. Oh shit. The only thing about this palette that I really, really can't stand is the lid. It looks really nice. It does. It's a beautiful looking palette, but the lid is just so stupid how it just slides on and off like that. I have to, um, keep it in this velour velvet box so that it kind of doesn't fall out as easily as it would if it wasn't in it. This kind of grips it a little more than than if it wasn't in it, I guess. Excuse these swatches on my hand, by the way. This is my failed attempt at this video. Staring me in the face. Next is this mascara, and this is the Mark Lash All You Want mascara. And um, I won't say that I like this more than the L'Oreal Voluminous mascara, but it's nice. It really is nice. My favorite thing about it is that the um, wand cap thing, it kind of, it doesn't click, but you feel it kind of snap into place so you know it's closed. It has one of those rubber bristled wands and that kind of scares me. They look like medieval torture devices. Here are two lip products that I have been thoroughly enjoying. The first one is this Clinique Chubby Stick, which just sounds dirty and naughty, doesn't it? This Chubby Stick, ooh. Uh, and this is in Whoppin' Watermelon, which I do have a swatch of that somewhere right here. I've been really into just really simple lip looks. I've been liking more elaborate eyes and even face, but lips, I just couldn't be bothered. So I've been wearing this a lot. And next is my Chatterbox lipstick from MAC. Ooh, I love this lipstick. I have no idea what my love affair with this is all about, but I just love it. It's right there looking pretty and fantastic. And I'm wearing it right now because it's just that good. Next, I'm mentioning my Rhapsody in Two blush from MAC. It's not really, you know, very, uh, what's the word? Bam. It's that blush that I reach for when I don't really want to put a whole lot of effort into my cheeks, but I want them to kind of like stand out. Ooh. Oh, shoot. I said shoot. You see that? I censored myself. So next we have our Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder which I'm sure that you've seen a million times here on YouTube. It's pretty raved about right now, which is why I bought it. It's your standard pressed powder. It's really nothing special, but I have been wearing this a lot more often than my uh, e.l.f. Oh, complexion Perfection, I think that's what it's called. It kind of sucks up all the oil on your face like a freaking mop. It's really nice. Next is the CoverGirl Naturelux Foundation, which I really was very skeptical about when I first tried it out, but let me tell you, I have not reached for a BB cream whatsoever this month. It's been all about this little baby. It is just, oh, oh, that's the only word I can 
that's not even a word. I, I never liked foundation before because of the way it felt on my skin, but this is just, it feels like my skin. This is an Ahava, Ahava. <laughs> I inhaled something. Mineral body lotion. My cousin had given me an Ahava, Ahava set for Christmas and I honestly only just recently got into using it because I've had so much body stuff that I've been trying to get through and I've started using this right after I get out of the shower and it is really really nice. It It's not the most amazing body lotion I've ever tried in my life but it absorbs really quickly into my skin and it doesn't leave any greasy nasty feelings so I've, I've definitely been liking this. Here we have the Mark Mist Opportunity Multitasking Refresher. And it's a spray. It's basically like Fix Plus. And at first when I had gotten it, I really wasn't sure how I felt about it. I was kind of like, eh, this is a stupid product. Why is anybody falling for this stupid stuff? It's like water in a bottle. But really, it's, it's really handy. I've been using it for two things, mostly. One, I've been using it to basically foil um, less pigmented eyeshadows and face powders and what have you. You know, I just spray my brush and pick up like a eyeshadow that's very powdery and lacking in pigmentation and it fixes the problem. I'm sure you've heard this. I like to spray on a brush and kind of stipple it on my face. This is stippling. And it kind of minimizes the appearance of any powderiness on my face. It just looks like a very um, dewy, like like my skin was made that way, you know, with with blush and whatever else on. <laughs> then we have two perfumes, and first is my Curious by Britney Spears perfume, which I did a perfume video like ages ago. I'm not even, do I still have it on my channel? I don't even know, but I love this perfume. It's one of, if not my favorite, perfume of all time. It just, it smells so good and it brings back so many memories for me. And then I, I really do need to get a full size of this. This is the YSL Parisian perfume. I've had about three other samples that I have completely gone through over the past month and it is just an amazing smelling perfume. I can't, it's, it's very feminine and fresh and clean and it has like these sweet notes to it that I don't know what they are. It's just amazing. I am highly considering buying this. Like highly considering buying it. I, I don't know if I can wait for Christmas. I usually wait for like Christmas and my anniversary and, and birthday to ask for perfumes but I don't know if I can wait. Yay! Favorites are done. Anyway, I guess that I will um, let you guys go. Those are my favorites. I hope that you enjoyed this video and um, I don't know. I'll talk to you later. Ta-ta.